Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. Question number five. Figure one shows a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals six ln two x plus three minus half x square plus four. The curve cuts the negative x-axis at the point P as shown in figure one. Part A. Show that the x coordinate of the point P lies in the interval minus 1.25 comma minus 1.2. This question got two marks. So in order to prove that the x coordinate of P lies between these these two values, it's basically proving that the function has a root because P is the x-intercept, right? The function has a root between these two points. So we need to apply the change of sign rule. Replace x by this, find the value. Replace x by this, find the value. If the value changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, you can say there is a there is a root between this value. Or in other words, the coefficient of uh, the x coordinate x coordinate of p lies between these two values. So when you sub in this value, when you plug in x is minus one point two five, the value of y is. Negative zero point nine four, etc. Now let's sub in negative one point two. Now you get the value zero point two one five zero, etc. There is a change of sign, so you need to write the conclusive steps. There is a change of sign, therefore there exists a root between these two points. Definitely, it won't be Q because for Q the x values will be positive. These two values are negative. So definitely, the x coordinate of P lies between these two points. The curve cuts the positive x-axis at the point Q, also shown in Figure One. Using the iterative formula, x x n plus one is equal to square root of twelve ln two x n plus three plus eight, with x one equal six. Part B i find to four decimal place the value of x two. Double i. Find by continued iteration the x coordinate of Q. Give your answer to four decimal places. This question got three marks. So you have a iterative formula given here with the initial value x one. They want you to find the value of x two. So sum in x x one in here, you get the value of x two. So x two is basically twelve ln two x one plus three. Plus a everything inside the square root. Replace x one by six, you get the value of x two. But here you see, in some questions, they they might ask you to frame this iterative formula from the original function. So you need to take this function. There are several x's here. You can replace y by zero. They are going to ask you to rewrite y equal zero in this form. So you need to find out which x is the subject here, so that you get this iterative formula. You have to make this x as a subject. That's the reason you multiply everything by two. It becomes twelve. Anyway, here they don't want you to frame the iterative formula. It's given there already. You can use this iterative formula to find x two. They want the answer to four decimal places. So it's going to be six point three six three seven. That's x two. And then they want you to find the solution to this function. The The x coordinate of q, which is the root of this function, to four decimal places. So we can use the same iterative formula. Here now you need to replace x x n by x two here and find x three, and you keep on finding the values till you get same four decimal places. In order to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my cursor here in my calculator. Delete this and press answer. So I will have this twelve ln two answer plus three plus eight. So when I press equal, the calculator will take the previous answer plug in here. So when I press equal, I get the value of x three. And I just need to keep on pressing equal sign. That's all. I need to keep on counting. By looking at the decimal places, I need to check how it changes. When I go x seven and the x eight, or x eight, I get six point four one four two. That's keep on repeating. So that's the x coordinate of point Q to four decimal places.